Hi, I'm Corey. I'm Jason. Welcome to our Highlands Adventure, where we go chase waterfalls, eat some delicious mountain food, and meet a fearsome new enemy. This morning we got up bright and early around 4 -ish. We got in the car to go to the most visited place in this part of North Carolina. We're in the Highlands right now, and there's like these two other towns that are pretty close, Cashiers and Sapphire. And it's pretty cute so far. I like it. It's a very picturesque town up here. Feels like a postcard, really. This mountain meal is so good. It's super gingery. I wonder if they make their own mix. It's really spicy and really refreshing. Wow, that's yeah. so pretty. Oh, it's wow. ready here. Gorgeous. So wow. we have our Swiss cheese, our dark goat cheese, and our double um, black chester cheese with a little bit of a berry compote, a little bit of a pickled rhubarb, some whole grain mustard, and some fresh berries as well. Wow. Those are our in house made spicy buttermilk crackers. They've been like a big baguette. It's like a little bed. The, little, the crackers have a little bed. A little sleeping bag. <laughs> yes, a little sleeping bag. They go night night. I'm really excited about the salad. It looks so nice and fresh. Oh yeah, it's really good. Nice and crunchy. Good dressing. Delicious lunch. Oh no, this dessert appeared with my lunch. How'd that happen? That's so tragic. I think I might have to eat it. Oh, there's some good nuts. <laughs> Set it for you. Before we talk about dinner, I just met a puppy. It was so cute. He is just eight weeks old. I just wanted to take it home with me, but see for yourself. Super cute puppy, right? We're hungry for dinner and we're going to the library kitchen bar here in Sapphire. And you can see the area is really cute with the babbling brook, all this green, foresty view of the mountains. The menu is designed by Michelin star trained chef Johannes. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, because to me, his name does sound German. And they used what is in season here, which I always like because that means it will be very fresh. And I'm super excited to eat some uh, local produce. This year we actually started our own little vegetable garden rally. So I really do appreciate the effort that goes into growing fresh veggies even more. And another thing to point out about this place, there's a lot of cool art all over the restaurant, which is by Martin Gromick, who's actually the co-owner. So let's have some yummy uh, mountain food. Really digging it so far. All right, <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna do White Water Falls. It's one of the highest waterfalls in North Carolina, I believe. Yeah, the very highest in North Carolina and uh, one of the highest on the East Coast. Wow. Oh, yes. It's like the highest east of the Rockies. Yes. Don't ask me what uh, the one west of the Rockies is. No idea. <laughs> no idea. Do you know, Jason? Mm -mm. Do you know? Do you know which one of the highest waterfall is west of the Rockies? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> Next would be the highest waterfall in all America. <laughs> That'd be cool. I want to see the highest waterfall in all of America. Oh, I want to eat that food at Library Kitchen again. Especially the Spargel, the white asparagus. It's a German delicacy, but I never got to eat it in Germany. Corey never took me any place that fancy and expensive. <laughs> Welcome to the mountains. <laughs> We're in our cabin. It's super 70s style. 
it kind of reminds me of my parents' house, and it makes me feel cozy, and I like it. We also wanted to point out this uh, inspirational mountain quotes wallpaper. I especially liked the herring fishing is only an addition if you're trying to quit. I actually don't know where you fish for herrings. Is that something that you can do in the Appalachian Mountains? I don't think so. I've never heard of herring fishing. I'm thinking that's more of like a Northern European thing. Is it also Canadian? Who knows? Does anybody know? <laughs> Something's really fun about having a sliding door right into the outside. You can just wake up and there's the woods. After you pack ample snacks for the day, especially if you're traveling with a hobbit, that's me in case you didn't get that, we made our way to the first waterfall of the trip. Actually, that's not true. It's the second waterfall of the trip. But maybe you're suffering from amnesia and don't remember the one from lunch yesterday. But here we are. It's so pretty. And like all the walking paths in the US, it's pretty well marked. There's enough parking. You pay $3 and you can just walk up to the overlook. It's about half a mile. It's pretty easy, good choice if you're short on time or not in that great of a shape. So we checked out the highest waterfall east of the Rockies. Now you can also walk down. It drops, I believe, 600 feet, which is pretty cool. And at the bottom, you can take a swim. So I'm really excited about that because summer is in full swing in the south. So these stairs are super sketchy. I don't even know if you can see how steep this entire thing is, but I can imagine this gets very slippery when it's wet. So we're gonna go all the way down so we can take a swim. It's a bit hot and you can see, hear my, my heavy breathing. And we're also gonna revisit the topic of how much in shape we really are when we have to go all the way back up. We had an awesome swim at the waterfall. I'm so glad I jumped in. It's really cold. I told you we would revisit and how good of a shape I am in. Just be glad you can't smile me right now. In case you can see it on the camera, I'm insanely sweaty. Getting back up here, there are some really tricky parts and it really burns your butt getting up here. So yeah, have a, have a good strong butt. Tell us about Lorelei's Corey. They're basically like the sirens, but the German ones. Yeah, but they're like on a river, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So but they're sometimes depicted as kind of mermaidy, right? That's the vibe I was going for down there by the water is a Lorelei mermaid or something like that. But that's not quite how that turned out. Well, we're back on the trail again. Corey made us an awesome picnic. We had all sorts of different cheeses. We had a cucumber from our garden. We had fresh crackers. They're not actually fresh, they were stale. You can tell we've gone south from North Carolina with that red dirt. One of the really cool things about Yellow Branch Falls was how you were deep down and you felt like you were sort of inside the waterfall and it was spilling down over the edges and just coming towards you. It was rad.
dinner, we came to Canyon Kitchen, located right here in Lonesome Valley. It is one of the most beautiful settings for a restaurant I've ever seen. Framed by trees, meadows, and encircled by these majestic granite cliffs. There's around 170 waterfalls in the area, very impressive. If you're not much of a hiker or you're all hiked out, like us from yesterday, you can actually find quite a few waterfalls you can look at from the road. I think the most popular one would be Bridal Veil Falls, which is right off the road near Highlands. It's pretty fun, we dance around a little, and then we came across another one. I must admit, best name waterfall ever, 10 out of 10, Buster Butt Falls. It is actually not named for being such a hard hike, but for people going down there and busting their butt. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe to our channel because do you know what will happen if they don't? They'll be haunted. Yes, by the enemy. It's gonna be just like those chain letters that you didn't forward in elementary school. I never forwarded those. Yeah, see? I'm constantly haunted. <laughs> Don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs>